Book Tribe and welcome to my channel, The Bookshelf Chronicles. If you haven't guessed already, this channel will be um, a channel that discusses book reviews from um, a book that I've read from the previous week. Um, I will be posting every Friday to the channel, so of course you need to subscribe to see those. Um, a little bit about myself, my name is Sandra Hamilton. I am a 22 year old from Bakersfield, California, um, and I am a theater freak. I absolutely love theater. Um, but I love books as well. Um, the first time that I found a book that I really, really, really loved was when I read um, the book Emeco Blue. I'm not going to tell you too much about the book because, of course, I don't want to spoil it, just in case you guys want to go back and read the book. Um, but Emeco Blue um, is about a girl who died and it is told from a six-person point of view. So um, friends, family, enemies, they tell her story leading up into her death. Um, it was a really interesting book, really short book, but a, a good read. Um, so go and check that book out, most definitely. Um, so today, the book that I will be discussing is the book uh, Dirty Pretty Things. Um, this book is um, a mixture of poetry and short stories. Um, but before I discuss that, I want to discuss with you guys how I go through the process of picking the book before I read it. Um, this book, I chose it not because of how it looks, because of course it's a little bland, but of course I look at the uh, cover first. Um, and if it's interesting enough, I flip the book over and I'm like, all right, let's see what it's about. Let's read the back of the book. Um, on the back of this one, it says, I'm hopelessly in love with the memory an echo from another time, another place. Really simple and straight to the point. I love how this um, book summarized it all up in the back. Um, the next thing that I do once I read the back of the book is I do something really weird. Typically people read the first sentence of the book to see like if they can kind of get into it. No, not me. <laughs> I read the last sentence of the book. Now I know everybody's like, well, why would you do that? I don't know why I do that. I just find it to be my best method. Um, sometimes I can find that it can spoil the book. Like if somebody's gonna die in the book and then you read the last sentence of the book, then you find out that they possibly die. It could ruin the experience of the book. Um, but that is something that I use to choose my books. Um, a little bit about this book, Dirty Pretty Things. Um, it was written in the year 2014 has 265 pages. Um, I bought this book from Barnes & Noble. Uh, when I bought the book, it was $17. Um, now when you look up the book on Barnes & Noble, it's $11.89. Of course, a lot cheaper than what I got it for. Um, the audience for this book, after reading it, I would say is about 18 and up. Um, and the description of the book is love, loss, relationship, and sex. So I read this book and the one thing that I have to point out is it talks more about sex than the other aspects of the book like the love, the loss, relationship kind of gets lost somewhere. Um, it's brought up a couple of times and you can read about it a couple of times and you're like oh that's great but it kind of just talks about sex. So for all of you uh, Fifty Shades of Grey lovers this book will probably be perfect for you. Um, I'm a Fifty Shades of Grey fan so this was not much of a problem for me as i said it is a mixture of poems and short stories which really balances itself out it's really refreshing to read a couple of poems and then boom you're in a short story and then read more of the poems and then you're in another short story and that was really cool um to be able to go back and forth it kind of leaves you guessing um another thing that is really interesting about this book is he did not write his own introduction to the book he actually had his girlfriend, who is a writer as well, she writes poetry, um, she wrote the introduction to this book. She opens the book by kind of discussing the relationship, what the book is about, and she ends her introduction in a poem. How perfect. Um, so the question remains with this book, am I going to put this book on my bookshelf with high honor or am I going to throw it out with great disgrace? Um, this time through for this book, Dirty Pretty Things, I am going to add it to my bookshelf chronicles. Um, this book was totally worth the read and I do recommend that you guys go read it. Um, as I said, it's going for $11.89 on Barnes & Noble. 
um, a lot cheaper for you know than what I got it for. Um, the book that I will be reading next week, uh, we'll do the review for next week. Sorry to disrupt the piece. As you can see, you can kind of tell why I picked the book. It's really bright and colorful and it catches the eye really nicely. So um, this is one of the things that drew me to the book. Um, on the back, the description, Helen Morin is 32 years old, single, childless, college educated, and partially employed as a guardian of troubled young people in New York. She is accepting a furniture delivery at her shared studio apartment when her uncle calls to break the news. Her adoptive brother is now dead. Woo! We get a death. That's going to be kind of cool um, to read. Um, so next week I'll be discussing this book. Uh, next Friday I'll be posting a video. Uh, if you have any questions for me um, or any kind of like suggestions on books that I can read, please comment below. Um, also, if you would like to see the written review for this book, you can go to my blog website, www.thebookshelfchronicles.com. That will be in the description below. Um, subscribe so that you can keep track of when I'm posting, which will be every Friday. Uh, anyway, thanks again, Book Tribe. See you next Friday.